Did you know that a sedentary lifestyle is one of the top risk factors for developing heart disease? It's a scary thought, but fortunately, there's something you can do about it. And in this edition of The Biz, we're here at the Powerhouse Gym in West Bloomfield to talk with some trainers about some changes you can make. So come on in and let's get started. According to the Center for Disease Control, 67 million Americans have high blood pressure. That's one in three Americans that are at risk for heart disease. Trainers Josh Gordon and Andrea Bernstein explain why it is more important than ever to take control of your health and fitness. When you get into blood pressure, you have to be concerned with spiking it and keeping too active. Uh, most people with blood pressure users are going to have a weight issue attached to it. So it's a frequency thing. It's a diet thing. There, there's a lot more than just saying uh, getting in there and being active. But when it all comes down to it, it's getting in there and being active. People really underestimate how much 30 minutes a day can do for them. It can lower your cholesterol. It can help lower your resting heart rate. It can help lower your blood pressure. It can help with uh, your mood. It can help with so many things. When you get into motions that are up and down, up and down with the actual physical body where your head is down and your head is up, can do crazy things to the heart rate and when you do that you can really affect blood pressure obviously you get into heart attack risks and other stroke and what have you the most important thing is moving your body no matter what your issues are physically emotionally age-wise anything and I truly feel that that's the fountain of youth moving your body is the fountain of youth and both Andrea and Josh know how important it is to live an active lifestyle I started working out because I was 238 pounds, and I'm 5'7", so that was a very big boy. Um, and I spent two years doing it. I'm a smart man, and I studied. And I spent two years trying to lose weight, and I didn't lose a pound. I finally lost weight when I found somebody who knew what the heck they were doing, had them give me some guidance. I always liked to be physically active. I was not an athlete. I did it for physical fitness and for just being outside and that kind of thing. As having been a nurse and seeing the critical end of health care. I really love being on the preventative end. While getting started can be the hardest part, joining a gym can be the scariest. As much as everybody thinks you're going to walk in, you're going to see some big monster and he's going to look at you and call you a big fatty. It's not how it is. Most of the time the people in the gym at one point were where you were or have a friend that was where you were or a loved one and they've seen it and they're excited by you. On average, the cost of a trainer is about $50 an hour, but gym memberships are more affordable now than ever. It's not a large expense. For what people usually tend to spend their money on, it's usually a very manageable thing. If you get a coffee once a week, that pays for more than your gym membership. Um, if you can stop at Starbucks, you can go to the gym. Although many think a trainer is not necessary, the benefits outweigh the cost. The first thing I would say if you are coming into a gym, enlist the aid of a fitness professional, a personal trainer, at least to get you acclimated to the gym and to make sure that your form and your posture is correct. That is the most important things so that you don't get hurt. And a good trainer should always make sure that you're getting a total body workout, know how to progress your workout, and know how to watch your form and which exercises work for you. The individual aspect, it's always best to have somebody that's a professional take the time to go through and see what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. It's kind of like saying, do you need to have a driver's ed teacher? You don't technically have to have a driver's ed teacher. You could probably teach yourself to drive using your own vehicle. You're probably going to hit a lot of things in the process. Could you do it on your own? Absolutely. Would you spend a lot of time and money educating yourself to do it properly? Unquestionably. A trainer might not be necessary all, you know, forever, but I think that if you're new to the gym and you really have not worked out and you're really not sure about what to do, it is the best way to ensure that you do things properly and that you do not get hurt. I think it's well worth it. The Powerhouse Gym offers spin classes, boxing, Zumba, yoga, and many others. And trainer Andrea Bernstein talks with us about a program she teaches. It's a muscle conditioning class, but the class for one hour moves. You never stop moving, but it's not a jumping aerobic class. Those days are sort of done for, you know, some of us with, you know, joint issues and whatever. But it's a very um, challenging class that works the entire body, multi-joint exercises, isolation exercises, and when you walk out, you've worked every muscle in your body. 
when it comes to exercise, if you do something a little wrong, you could do a lot of, lot of bad to it. The matter is that when you get into the group setups, a lot of times you lose the, and there's a lot of people that will disagree with me on this, but the fact is you absolutely unquestionably lose the ability to spot check yourself and you lose the ability to have somebody spot checking you. Even if it's just a friend who has learned what to watch for, you don't have that in a group setting. Everything is good, whether you do Pilates or yoga or weight training or Zumba, it's all good, but not every exercise is good for every single person, and you need to learn what that is for you. And after a long, hard workout, the worst thing to do is just stop without the proper cool down. This critical step brings your breathing, heart rate, and body temperature back to normal. Now there's a huge importance to cooling down properly and then stretching properly. The cooling down is gonna happen as you're working and as you're finishing out your exercises. The stretching is gonna be very important that you do the proper things. Stretching improperly can result in muscle tears and all sorts of injuries. Doing it properly means taking at least 20 seconds at each hold position, re-entering the positions multiple times to give a proper release of what is called the Golgi tendon apparatus so that you can increase the actual range of the muscle. The Powerhouse Gym is a family-owned business committed to health and fitness. If you're interested in seeing a trainer or starting a membership, you can call Powerhouse Gym in West Bloomfield at 248-539-3370.